Welcome back to the Crypto Currently podcast. I have some really smart sounding things to talk about today, philosophical even. Um, some really good trades in the market to talk about, some, some ways to, I think, make some quick money uh, on the ride back up now that the bloodbath seems to be over for the time being. But unfortunately, I'm not going to be talking about any of that stuff because there is hilarity in the market. And I get very easily distracted uh, by things that are funny. All right. <laughs> so where to begin? Where to begin? All right. CC, you know what? Let's just start off with the classics here. Uh, cryptocurrency news uh, headline. John McAfee boggled at hubbub over admission to paying for hookers and drugs using cryptocurrency. Okay, so uh, you, do you know who John McAfee is? You know what I mean? Like, would you would you would you also be surprised to learn that uh, 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 Keith Richards frequently uses cocaine? Right? Do you know who this guy is? Like, he's. He is one of those geniuses that is so smart that he's crested that that plane of crossing over into crazy person, okay? He's, that guy's a wild man. This is who he is. And he tweeted about it. He's like, yeah, uh, I, just, I just bought a Bentley with uh, cryptocurrencies. Oh, and on top of that, uh, uh, coke and horse. <laughs> and people freaked out about that? Like, dude, this is John McAfee. If this guy tweets out like, hey, you know what, I spent the weekend uh, catching up on chores, doing my yard work, and I just sat down and read a good book by the fire. If that tweet comes out, that's when you need to start worrying, all right? <laughs> People freaked out over John McAfee. J-Mac, right? I love the guy. Uh, you know, I'm not going to let him babysit my kids, but like that that guy's the canary in the in the coal mine here right that guy is that guy's the kind of person who's 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 going to show us all like how far you can push it and uh that just i don't know it just cracks me up that like people freak out about things they already know you know what i mean that's who that guy is okay he's a wild man uh who also is right um when it comes to this sort of thing that it, J Mac started McAfee, right? The the you know the security service. Like when that guy talks about what he talks about, he's right. He knows about it, and uh, it doesn't matter how much cocaine or hookers that guy does. When he talks about this sort of thing, he knows what he's talking about. Um, that just I don't know. I just I just thought that was funny. Uh, that people would would have that kind of response. Look, it, go on to CCN, cryptocurrency news, pull up the John McAfee article, and look at how McAfee is is dressed in this. Okay, if a guy shows up to a podium to talk about anything and he's dressed like that, that means that guy has reached a level in his life where he's like, dude, I do not G A F like this. It, you asked me here, all right? I'm going to dress however I want. Guaranteed that guy in that picture, that guy's wearing flip-flops, right? And he's no doubt talking to a room full of straight-up ballers. And he's dressed like that? Yeah, that's that That dude is, that he's reached a whole other level, all right? <laughs> so that was kind of funny. Anyways, there's another thing I want to talk about. And this, before I get into this, I just, the reason this cracks me up, well, there's a number of reasons. But this is really funny. Um, but before I before I explain it, before I go into it, I want to illustrate to you that this goes to the point of picking ICOs, right? We all want to get in on that ICO that we can get in at five cents or ten cents or whatever, and hopefully it makes it to a market. Any market will do, and then hopefully after that it goes on to all the markets, and then we all get paid, and then you know, riches for everybody, but how to pick them, right? Because there's a, there's a lot of factors. Number one, a good portion of those ICOs are going to be scams. Uh, an even larger portion are going to be good companies with good people, but they're just not going to hit their marks, and that's unfortunate. And then there's going to be, um, you know, the people who do raise the amount of money that they said they needed, 
They do everything that they said they were going to do, right? So the good people, smart people working on real problems, and they raised all the money that they said they were going to raise, but it just won't make it to market, right? Which is another case of, in all those cases, it's you lose, you lose, you lose. And then there's the ones that do make it to the market and then don't perform. So lose again. So there's a lot of things to think about uh, when putting your, putting your money on an ICO. Uh, how to pick them. Well, I've already talked about a couple of those things, but ultimately the, the, the thing that you need to do with any ICO is your research. You need to read about it. You need to read about it and then decide if you are comfortable with everything that you see and then if you're going to put money down on it, you need to make sure that that's money that you, you know, you can lose and, and lose comfortably because, you know, chances are you are going to lose. You are going to be wrong. But if you're right, to the moon, baby. So let's have a look here. This is just hilarious. Uh, uh, Kodak, right? Now, Kodak... Now, I've, I've noticed that, you know, when I go into Google Analytics and, uh, you know, I look into my, my lips and analytics that most of my listeners are uh, around my age. Okay, so when I say the name Kodak, you know who I'm talking about, right? They used to, they used to make film, they used to make cameras, um, and then people stopped making f film because of, you know, digital technology and Kodak really went for a slump there. But anyways, into Kodak. Uh, CCN News pre-ICO and branded Bitcoin miners, Kodak quickly cashes in on blockchain moment. All right, so Kodak is going to be offering a coin. Kodak coin. Sounds great, right? This is a company that's been in business for years. They're solid. They've got smart people working for them. They're already established. They already have a brand. Everybody knows who they are, right? Sounds good, doesn't it? Right? From, from, from just the first glance, sounds good. Where do I send my money? Dig a, just a little bit deeper. <laughs> this is freaking crazy. Kodak launching branded Bitcoin mining rigs and licensing deal. All right, so here's, here's what's going on. Kodak has invented a cryptocurrency mining machine that you can get. You can, you can use that machine to uh, pull money free money out of the cryptocurrency markets. Here's how it works. All right, check this out. So according to CNBC, a two-year lease on the machine will cost you $3,400. All right, okay, so all right, you haven't lost me yet. You gotta spend money to make money, champ, moving on. And the company estimates that it will produce a monthly revenue of $375. Okay, worth of Bitcoins or $9,000 over the course of the lease. So, okay, so right there, it's a two year lease for $3,400. The most you can make uh, is about $9,000. Okay, that's if everything works out the way that it works at this very moment. That means nothing else can change, or else those numbers change dramatically as time goes on. That's $4,500 a year, $9,000 over two years. Okay, so you pay $3,400, and then you can make $9,000. Okay, well, I'm, I'm, you haven't completely lost me. I'm still there because what, what you're saying is, is that uh, I can make, uh, what is that, $6,600 for free over the course of two years. That's just free money. And all I gotta do is lease this thing. Okay, that's you know, $6,600, $3,300 a year. That's, uh, you know, that that's $3,300 can buy a lot of things. Um, but wait, there's more. Kodak estimates, uh, assume that the miners were, will earn consistently monthly revenue over the course of the two year lease, which ignores the fact that Bitcoin mining has lately been increasing at a monthly rate of about 15%. So that's what I'm talking about. Like the, you know, things change as time goes on. Consequently, some industry observers doubt that the users will be able to recoup their value of $3,400, uh, much less turn a profit. Now, also, 
One last little caveat here. Uh, with the Kodak machine, the Kodak, it's called a cash miner. It's actually kind of a cool looking device, kind of looks like a lunchbox. But uh, not only will you have to pay $3,400 to earn $9,000, you will have to fork over half of your profits. Okay? So even if your profits are $9,000, which is speculative, that's complete speculation, but even if it was $9,000, you'd have to give up half of it. Users will be required to return half of the profits to Kodak, reducing their estimated revenue from $9,000 to $4,500. So, let me just recap this for you, right? This is just, and this is just a news, news article. I haven't even read the, I requested the white paper, but uh, I haven't, th this is just a news article of the breakdown of what they've learned, okay? So for $3,400, you have the right to lease this machine that mines Bitcoin. And if you make any money, you have to give half of it back to Kodak. So now, instead of making $6,600, you can make $3,300 over the course of two years, right? Uh, you've, been, you've, you've come out of pocket $3,400. You've done all of the work, right? And you had to send back $4,500 for a net result, if everything goes right, if everything goes right, you have risked $3,400 so that you could make, uh, what is that? 30, so um, you've got $4,500 minus 30, the, the $3,400 lease, um, 34, so $1,100 if, uh, if my math is correct. You would, you would come out with a net result of $1,100 over the course of two years having done all the work and staked your own money on the lease. Um, I don't know if that 30, the initial $3,400 is, is uh, refundable or not, but uh, this is, uh, one guy named Chris Hoffman commented on this, and this is, this is what cracks me up. And his name is Chris Hoffman, that's Chris B. Hoffman on Twitter if you want to follow him, if you want to see uh, what his page looks like. So that you know that you're picking the right guy. You can, uh, if you're listening to the podcast, you can come on to the YouTube show. That's uh, Crypto Currently. But uh, here's Chris. Here's Chris Hoffman saying. He says, uh, and forgive the cusses, but I got to read this. It says Kodak is selling Bitcoin miner where you pay for a two-year contract and make a profit. At current prices, Kodak gets half of the whole Bitcoin you produce. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> and truly. Boy, it's right up there. Uh, look, it, it, it's like Kodak uh, had Vince, the ShamWow guy, uh, write their prospectus for him. You know what I mean? This is crazy. Did, did, your, did your CEO and your, and your chief operating officer, whoever's in charge of this, it's like, did you, did you graduate from clown, an accredited clown college or did you take an online course? Like, what are you talking about? And furthermore, there's one last point, and it's way down in the details. The devil's in the details. They're launching this in the United States. Now, as you know, there's a lot of ICOs that, that you're not, you are discouraged from participating in if you live in the United States. And that's because we have very strict laws uh, regulating uh, the securities industry. But uh, Kodak is going right through this because they're going through all the right channels. Okay, and if you want to go through the right channels, just like IPOs, initial public offerings, like if you want to buy into an IPO in the United States, you have to be an accredited investor. When I was a commodities trader, when I traded futures and options, our clients had to be suitable for the market. There was very strict, they had to have a net worth, right? And that net, net worth had to be significant. There were rules. We couldn't just, you, you couldn't just walk in and be like, I want to trade some oil. Wee! No, like you had to have money. You had to have a history of, you know, uh, market participation. There were a lot of things that went into this. So Kodak is going through all of those right channels. And they're saying that if you want to buy the ICO, 
it's just like an IPO. You have to be an accredited investor. So that means nobody, uh, you know, in the small people like you and me, nobody can nobody can participate in this, right? You have to have uh, a net worth, a history in the market. You have to you have to prove that you know what you're doing, just to get in. And then there will be minimums. Okay, so that's not. You're not going to be able to uh, take some money out of your out of your uh, you know whatever your Ripple wallet and put it into Ethereum and then take your Ethereum and go in and you know go buy Kodak coin for ten dollars or twenty dollars or a hundred dollars or something like that. No, no, no. These are there will be minimums. So my prediction on this Kodak thing is it won't. Nobody's going to nobody's going to do this because they're only seeking investors, and the, the this is not an investor market. Why would I take? Let's say the the the, the buy-in minimum is I don't know. I'll, I'll do an extremely low number, fifteen thousand dollars, right? Why would I take fifteen thousand dollars and put it into a product where like the person not only has to pay for it, they have to give up half of their profits. And they have to operate the damn thing, right? They're doing all the work. Who who would do that? For what? For fifty bucks a month? For a hundred bucks a month? Nobody. Who would do that? Uh, my prediction is is this is going to be like the standard. The 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 Kodak Co Co uh, cash machine is going to be like the standard of ridiculousness. That like if you. Uh, are in the ICO market that that the Kodak cash machine is going to be what it is that we look to when we say like don't do like whatever you do don't do that like read what it's saying and when you see ridiculous things being said walk away from it anyways that was hilarious to me that's the show for today on the podcast we will see you Monday morning and on the YouTube show I will do uh, on Sunday I'll publish a, um, a uh, just a show about telling, telling stories. I'll do like one story every Sunday, and, and I'll try to make that a tradition. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll talk to you next time.